So Mike Street Speed 717 just sent us some footage of him and his 19 ZR1 that we've built. I think a lot of y'all have seen it if y'all watch our channel a lot. Racing a Tesla Plaid. And the new thing I guess on the internet is to see what these cars can do against these new Tesla Plaids because they make so much torque with the electric vehicles. So I want to share this footage with y'all now. So those were some pretty badass races. Um, I do have to give props to the Tesla electric car. Hauls ass for what it is. Um, it takes a serious gas engine to, with boost, to keep up with it and beat it like we did. Um, with that being said, Mike's car is tuned uh, very safely for the kind of racing he does. He's not the kind of customer that puts the car in the garage and once a month just takes it out to a car show. I know he's gonna be out there racing this car day in and day out. Um, the previous tune we had from him, the car was on E85, um, and I did have it wicked up quite a bit. Uh, this go around, we went ahead and put it on 109, unleaded, it's still a race fuel, but the timing and the air fuel and everything is very conservative, so he can go out and beat the crap out of this car day in and day out, hopefully without having issues, as well as going to the Pocono events. He goes and does, uh, I'll call it like a half mile kind of style racing. It's like a roll racing where they go 170 to 190 miles an hour and he'll do that five or 10 times. And I want him to be able to do that with all of his friends and buddies and have the car potentially not break down. So I want the tune to be as safe as possible, which is how he has it in this video. And still, in my opinion, it's awesome to see him pulling on the Tesla Plaid because I've seen other high-end exotic vehicles and modded cars going against the plaids that get crushed by it. Um, so to me, to give a turnkey car like this and a 19ZR1 that you can take out, drive it every day if you want and beat the living crap out of it and beat the plaid, perfect combination. And I know Mike is at home enjoying it now and uh, hopefully the next Pocono event, maybe I'll fly up there and we can turn it up a little bit more. <laughs> 